Yahoo has an urgent message for users. Go online immediately and change your password and security questions. It follows a massive hack of accounts. Yahoo believes information associated with at least 500 million user accounts was stolen. The FBI is investigating what may be the biggest hack ever. Dan Ackerman uh, from our partners at CNET is here. Dan, uh, what, what are we to make of this so far? Yeah, this is a big number. When you hear 500 million, you go, that's, you know, a lot of people. But yeah. a lot of these are probably older accounts or, or de just deactivated accounts or duplicate accounts. How many times do you forget your username and password and you want to use Yahoo Photos or something? And you go, I'll just make a new account. So, so that 500 million, it's a big headline number, but I, I wouldn't take that too much to heart. What about the fact that it happened in 2014 and we're just hearing about that now? Should we be concerned about that? I mean, we should, but we hear about this a lot with these big corporate hacks. If somebody goes in and basically steals some data, they don't leave any footprints that are too obvious, and you don't find out about it until later when somebody tries to sell that information, bundle it, and sell it on the black market. There's a lot of people who are just, are just finding this out now who have migrated yeah. over to Gmail or Inbox or whatever else over the years. And then I think a lot of people just went back into their Yahoo accounts, their old Yahoo accounts just yesterday, and then, and then discovered some of these odd messages. I never had a Yahoo account. Never? No. Oh, Gail? Mm -mm. All right. I, okay. I, 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 went, I went point. back down mine. I should probably check it at some point here, right? Um, I mean, what, what to, to those people who, who used to have Yahoo accounts or still have yeah. one now, what, what else might we do now? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I hadn't used it in many, many years, but I went in yesterday and I went and changed my password right away, and it suggested that I erase my security questions, those goofy questions. They make mm. you feel like, what city did you have your honeymoon in? What's, What's the, the name, name of your, your high school teacher? What's yeah. the name of your dog? Right. Yeah. Those, those are terrible. A lot of that data was in this hack, some of it unencrypted. And that stuff, if somebody wants to social hack you, they can probably look a lot of that up and make a guess at it. So it just said, you know, why don't you just delete these questions? I was like, good idea, Yahoo. So but who's behind it? What do you think they're trying to find out? What's the purpose? I mean, a lot of this is just bulk data. They, they bundle it, they sell it together, and if they have a password and username and password combination that works. They. You yeah. keep they. saying oh. they. We're not identifying who we're talking yeah. about. Who's uh, the they? Yeah. You know, Yahoo said it was a state-sponsored group. That's a very broad umbrella. You can use that to, to paint a lot of people. In a lot of these countries, we're here about these hacks coming. You know, uh, government groups and private groups kind of work Russian, together. Sometimes Russian Russians and Chinese. You know, uh, the, guy, the guys doing the actual political hacks, they're not state employees, you know, in an office somewhere. Where there's shadowy private groups that kind of work hand in Dan, hand with the just line, Anything we can do to avoid it. Follow Password 101. Use a different password for every site and service. I hate to say oh. it, but it's true. I oh. know, I know. Come up with a password formula so you can kind of remember the passwords without making them too crazy. Our password infrastructure is unsustainable. Something has to change at some point in the future. We just can't handle this anymore. Right. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Thank Dan. You.